And now to the coronavirus vaccine. Florida's top public health leader says you do not have to be a Florida resident to get a COVID-19 shot. State-run sites and events will no longer require people to provide multiple proofs of residency to receive a vaccine. News 4 Jacks reporter Kelly Wiley tells us the change comes as sites across Northeast Florida are seeing fewer people showing up. The FEMA supported vaccination site in Jacksonville can vaccinate up to 3,000 new people each day, but the parking lot has sat largely empty and so has the inside. Now the top health official in Florida is widening vaccine eligibility even further. There are new rules for who can get a vaccine in Florida. The Surgeon General releasing a health advisory expanding vaccine eligibility to non Florida residents working in the state. Samantha Artiga is the director of racial equity in health policy with the Kaiser Family Foundation. Artiga said weeks ago the pre Previous requirement to provide proof of residency and identification in some states is an additional barrier for some communities. Providing clear information to help people understand that all individuals are eligible for the vaccine regardless of immigration status and that getting the vaccine will not negatively impact someone's immigration status is really important. The health advisory also recommended government offices go back to in-person operations since vaccines are available to all Floridians statewide and said people who are fully vaccinated no longer need to wear face coverings. The advisory goes further than what the CDC has recommended so far. The changes are happening as state-run and federally supported vaccine clinics across Florida are seeing a decline in the number of people coming to get vaccinated. The volume has decreased quite a bit. When the state expanded vaccine eligibility to everyone 16 and older on April 5th, nearly 4,300 people in Duval County got the first dose of Pfizer or Moderna. Compare that to this Monday, roughly 1,300 people got that first dose. Right now, the FEMA Jacksonville site is offering both the Pfizer and Johnson & Johnson vaccine until Tuesday, May 4th. Public health experts are warning that the most common variant in Florida right now is more severe and more easily spread, putting younger people at risk. Reporting in Jacksonville, Kelly Wiley, Channel 4, The Local Station.